Hallelujah. Blessings, everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. Good day, wherever you are. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise. Just gonna give us a couple of minutes to um to jump on this morning, wherever you are. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. The identification has gone up. Praise God. Invite someone. Let someone know our life. Very important. <laughs> Praise God. If you can hear me, make sure you leave a comment as well. I can hear you. Um, that way I know. Um, absolute, absolutely clear. God bless you. Good morning, everyone. Um, give it a couple of more minutes for someone else to jump on, jump on and for others to jump on. Then we'll go live. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. How are you? Hope you rested well. Hope you're doing good. Kim Billion, Kim Billion from Barbados. God bless you, Kim Billion from Barbados. God bless you. God bless you. Invite someone. Let someone know I'm live. Begin to share the link. Everyone begin to share. Very important. Um, <clears throat> Tony Moore, God bless you. Good morning. <clears throat> so this morning, I um, I um, um felt very strongly in my spirit to talk to someone um, what the Lord is saying now and this season. What, what is the Lord saying? And I want you to make sure you are, you are listening and paying attention. You know, many, time, many times we, um, we hear, but we do not listen. We hear, but we don't listen. So I want you to invite someone straight away, let them know we're live, let them know I'm live. And... Um, we press on. So let's pray. Father, we thank you. Um, everlasting King, our God, our Savior, our Redeemer. I bless you for the gift of life with thanksgiving in my heart and our hearts. Oh God, we come before you thanking you for giving us the grace to see yet another day. So Lord, having thanked you, we cut this day into your hands. Take control. Take preeminence. Be the pilot of our motion this day lord let everything manifest in our lives through your perfect will <clears throat> in the name of jesus we say amen. amen type up say amen praise god so um very quickly um what the lord is saying <clears throat> in this season and what the lord is saying now very important um the lord wants us to be rightly positioned God is going to be looking for the right men and the right women to put in certain strategic places right men and right women to be in certain strategic places like a Joseph God will be positioning the righteous the faithful ones in strategic positions because the world is going to experience um, a certain level of famine obviously which has started you know, I'll, I'll say a certain level of lack I use the word lack I mean <clears throat> we've been hearing of it and um, just very recently as recently as yesterday I heard that um, Turkey um, we are like the middlemen. God bless you, Don. Don. Um, I'm Dion Ariad. God bless you. Now, Turkey was like the middleman between Ukraine and Russia. Like we know that um, there is a war, ongoing war between Ukraine and, and R Russia for territorial sovereign mm -hmm. sovereignty. Um, now that war is holding back food called grains. So in Ukraine, um, it has been estimated or forecasted by the IMF and all the governing bodies that 25% um, of the world's grain 
is being um, stopped or withheld um, between Ukraine and Russia. So the, as a result of the war in um, Ukraine, 25% of the grain, the grains that we're meant to eat and consume, you know, the world's population, we can't have this now. So what was happening day before yesterday and yesterday was that the IMF, Russia, Ukraine, met, we are in, I believe in Turkey, where Turkey were like the middleman between these countries so that there could be a, an agreement reached for Ukraine to be able to export food to different parts of the world. And thankfully, um, it was agreed that Russia would allow Ukraine export this within 10 days. So it was, it's been estimated that anything later than 10 days, the world would be in, a, in what I say, a level of lack for grains, wheats, and whatnot. Now, these things, and it, it didn't just happen today. It's not caught God unawares. The, the warning has gone ahead of us. <clears throat> One of the prophecies for the year 2022, if you watch <clears throat> my, um, we had a three days conference, 29, 30, and 31st of December 2021. Into this new year, I prophesied as the Lord spoke to me that there was going to be famine. Well, I said, great lack, lack of food, lack of provision at the back end, the latter end of 2022, which we're already seeing. Um, household bills have gone up 54%. Um, petrol, diesel, fuel has gone up times two. So it's about, in, 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 in England, we have, um, if you want to buy diesel, it's about two pounds to, 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 to two pounds for a litre. So things like that. So when you spend 100 pounds, you only get 50 liters worth of diesel. So everything is doubled and tripled, and it's only rising. Now, what the Lord is saying to me, and what the Lord said to me to tell you all, is that this lack is bound to happen. It will happen. A lot of families will struggle come winter, which is the back end of 2022, which we are already going into from August, September, October, November, and December, into the early part of 2023. The Lord said, um, but we need to prepare as, 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 a, as a people, as a church, a community of God's people, position, position ourselves rightly. He said, many of us will get revelations that will bring elevation for us. It will give us revelation that will bring elevation. These revelations will bring us to a place of financial sustenance where these revelations will help us multiply in wealth, in finances, increase in our financial values. Um, those who have been faithful in little things, the Lord said, is going to make you very important in this coming season. Just like Joseph was, the Bible says Pharaoh had a dream, two dreams that um, he, could not, he could not interpret himself. Um, and all the wise men and the, um, the magicians of um, um, Egypt could not interpret what Pharaoh had received in form of two dreams. And um, the butler remembered that there was a Jew in the prison who interpreted his own dream, which came to pass. So that was how Joseph was presented before Pharaoh. And Pharaoh um, said to Joseph, to told Joseph the dream, and Joseph, through the grace of God and through the Spirit of God, interpreted the dream. And Pharaoh said, there is no greater man there is no better man to put in charge of this. And that was how Joseph was made prime minister. And Joseph controlled the, the bank account of the, great, the greatest and the richest nation at that time, which was Egypt. Because Egypt became the wealthiest nation as all the world, the world came to buy grain from Egypt. Similar things are going to happen now. The righteous will be put in very important decision-making positions because government officials will be lost in not knowing what to do. 
and the next the next point of contact will be who can give us a solution so this is where you need to pray for revelation you need to pray for deep secrets that will make you a, a, a major voice in this dispensation um joseph did not get to being a prime minister by <clears throat> by speaking by blowing grammar he caught revelation translated revelations tra revelation of translation joseph caught the revelation of translation which he helped pharaoh to translate deep secret things so how then can you catch this revelation to translate to make you a major voice the lord said seek my face fear me love me seek my face fear me love me seek my face fe seek my face one fear me two love me three seek my face one fear me two and love me three in this season so that you become a major voice governments will find you governments will come for us not to arouse us but to hear what we've got to say to give them a way out to tell them what would bring direction perspective in a place of confusion and no directive so we need to rise up now as a people community of god's people as a church as individuals it's time for your light to start shining for you to start flavoring the earth i want you to take this very serious this season is pivotal to what would happen to humanity and the church has got to have a say so get ready something is brewing behind the scene that would bring many into great relevance believe you me um the world would be in lack and in struggle but that's not our portion someone say it's not my portion type it up it's not my portion but listen to me for it not to be your portion god has got to be your portion for lack trouble not to be your portion god has got to be your portion god bless you marcella young god bless you listen to me the bible says for the lord is my portion for the lord is my portion so for lack not to be your portion the lord has got to be your portion when the lord is your portion you walk in revelation that will bring elevation or and promotion saving you from what will become like desolation and destruction to this generation so you need to ask remain connected to the lord now hear me your praying altar your praying life will be justified in this season your trust in god your faith in god will be justified like never before in this season your 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 fervency the lord said this is the season when that fervency will bring you to a place of relevance your steadfastness will make you rise fast to great heights and higher grounds now this is a time to hold on to god like never before let the lord be your portion it will give you information revelations reveal deep and secret things that will bring directive to this lost and confused world hallelujah so i want to encourage you now is the time now is the time to hold on to the lord like never before now is the time to cry to the lord like never before the Lord is your portion. So I want to pray for you that what we have what we have received now, what the Lord has really revealed to us, we take you to be wrong with it. The lack that's ahead, you know, through this world we're receiving now, we shall not slack in prayers. So that we do not lack good things. So that we we walk in revelation and power that will make us so relevant before important men decision making panels this is a time for your prime ministers your governments to look for you to look for us as children of god and my prayer is that as we hear this we will not we will not we will not just take it lightly but we will start running properly in the name of jesus so I bring you good tidings, bring you world, I bring a world from the throne room 
Seek my face, said the Lord. Hold on steadfastly to the faith. Don't slack in prayers. Do not slack. Don't slack in prayers. <clears throat> Dion Ariad said, Apostle, please pray for me. I'm not feeling, they're not feeling too well. Dion, I rebuke sickness out of your body now and I decree immediate healing right now. Right now. Now, even now. Father, I pray and I ask that you stretch forth your hand of healing upon Dion Ariad and touch her now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. So, child of God, you've heard what the Lord has said to us. So, spread the word. Um, the Lord has laid it in my heart that come the 31st of July, which is the last Sunday of this month of July, I'm going to be having, we're going to be holding um, a media crossover service. Media crossover service at, three, at 8 p.m., Sunday, the 31st of July. That, that Sunday, we're not having any gathering that morning or afternoon is going to be in the evening from 8 p.m. till 2 a.m. Cross it over. We cannot stop now. We need to cross because August to December 2022 and part early part of 2023 will be tough for the world. But we are the light. We're working with the word of God, receiving revelation to prepare now to walk on dimensions that lack cannot touch. So when the UK be there, abroad connect by if you're in the uk be there physically if you're abroad connect by faith and i pray your lives you know what i'm going to say in the name of jesus amen the child of god tonight we carry on with our prayers 6 p.m for our 69th prayers tomorrow it's a very important gathering as well at 3 p.m it's a open open my case file gathering tomorrow open my case file gathering Meaning that we are setting God, setting the Lord in remembrance to remember us, our works and labor of love shown towards his name in that we have been sat to the saints and do minister so that he blesses us and multiplies us. Hallelujah. May God bless you. May God keep you. i see you later tonight. So don't forget, for those who just jumped on, releasing, it was a quick message I passed on. To summarize it, it's about what is coming ahead the latter part of this year and how the Lord wants us to respond now by praying, seeking his face, working revelations, and um, rightly positioned so that our voice becomes a major voice like that of Joseph in a time of famine and lack in Egypt and the world. Amen. May God bless you all. May God keep you all. Have a beautiful day ahead. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen.